When I think of Nancy Reagan, I think of two things. Her Just Say No anti-drug campaign and the relationship she had with her husband, President Ronald Reagan. When it comes to the Just Say No campaign, Mrs. Reagan knew how to work the camera. She knew media. She had a Hollywood background. She went on shows like Different Strokes, made public appearances with celebrities like Mr. T. She even went to an NBA basketball game and was physically picked up by a player to slam dunk a Just Say No basketball. When it came to her husband, there was no greater advocate for the Ronald Reagan administration and his legacy than Nancy Reagan. Her memoirs dispelled rumors and misconceptions about the administration and her role in it, even before he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. When he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, she went to bat for him. She protected his legacy. She made public appearances and did interviews where she talked about how the disease had basically taken away her life partner. Their relationship is, is a true love story. It's a Hollywood love story. It's, it's a great American love story for the ages. Uh, the two were, were happiest when they were together. There's just there's no other way of saying it. When, um, when I visited the Presidential Museum, the Reagan Presidential Museum in Simi, California, I went up where Ronald Reagan is buried and where Nancy will eventually lie and rest next to him. And when he died in 2004, she was very open about the fact that she was looking forward to joining him again. I think it's a beautiful spot for the two of them to be together for the rest of eternity and people to stop by and pay their respects to two great Americans.